everybody, it's Maxwell Heller. I'm about to start a transformation and become the beautiful Miss Cracker. Shabbat shablam. First thing we have to do is clean the canvas. I'm gonna use 99% alcohol because it's what? Industrial. <laughs> now we're gonna use a beauty product called duct tape to pull my face back. Bam! It takes about an hour and 10 minutes to get into face for me. Next, it's time to glue down these eyebrows. The hardest part about doing makeup is not obsessing over each step. If you try to be perfect every step of the way, you will never arrive at the end. Now it's time to wipe the canvas clean, make my face into a blank slate. We're gonna use some nice full coverage foundation, like really full coverage. This is Sherwin-Williams. First, I'll cover my beard area with the thickest foundation. There's a couple of things that I've learned from doing drag. First of all, the surface does not matter. When I walk out in the street as a boy, I am ignored. When I walk out on the street as a woman, I draw everyone's attention and people love me or hate me. Is it because I'm a different person? No, it's because the surface has changed. You have to learn that the surface is not about who you are. My eyebrows are dry because they are Hard to the touch. It's time to cover them up. Bam, 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 bam. Cover it with a little concealer powder. Next up, contours. So these contours are heavy and dark, it's okay. We're gonna cut into them with some more foundation. Look at this, it's so harsh. Start ugly. Blending, blending, blending. Tiny little circles. Now, the highlight. When I put on my highlight, I'm feeling for the bones. See, bone, 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 bone. Brow bone. Don't over blend. Make it strong, because when we put on that setting powder, it's gonna all get softer. Contouring a nose is a big project for every queen. I'm gonna start with a highlight, right down the center of my face, the Pepe Le Pew stripe. Shablam, there she is, okay? I love makeup because it lets me experiment with a new face. It's really stressful to contour my nose, but I love doing my nose. Cause that's really, I think one of the big things that changes my face. Shabbat shablam, she is ready to set her face. It's snowing. <coughs> Let's draw on the dots and start our eyebrows. Your eyebrows are the window to the soul. Make sure that they are expressive. We're using a light tone for the center and a dark tone for the outside. It adds what? Dimension. Ow. An eyebrow has dimension, so there's a shadow at the bottom of it, so we put a little darker color along the bottom. Okay, new face. Now let's put makeup on it. Tiny little circles, everyone, just like my personal life. Let's add dimension to my eyeballs by highlighting the foremost part of the eye. Shablam, she's highlighted. Hello. So we're adding more contrast to the eyes so that when someone looks at you, they'll be drawn immediately to the most expressive part of your face. I'm just following the ridge of my eye socket here. When in doubt, just follow your bones. All right, top of the eye is all shaded. I have teeny little eyes, so let's see if we can make them bigger using the Amy Winehouse wing illusion. When you're doing your makeup, you should have a mirror that's close up and a mirror that's far away so that you can look at the proportions and not just the details. You can just dive right in there. People feel like everything that you do in makeup is irrevocable, but it's literally paint. You can wipe it off. So don't get so nervous about it. While this cat eye eyeliner is drawing, let's highlight my face a little bit. My mom is a painter, and she told me that painting and makeup are the same. You start with a neutral base and work from your lightest lights to your darkest darks. I'm adding some bright highlights here. If you have light, then you have to have a shadow, so let's add the shadow in. I used to put contour along my whole jaw. Don't do that. They get it, you have a chin. Just worry about this part. One of the most important things you can try to do in life is see your own beauty without makeup. All right, next, we're gonna go in with the foundation and widen my eye by lightening the lower tear duct. I often found that I did not feel that I could express myself because I didn't feel that I was beautiful. 
Getting myself in makeup makes me feel beautiful. So do your makeup for yourself in a way that makes you happy because real beauty is happiness. Now I'm just going to throw on some lips. There's a place where the muscles of your face connect with the muscles of your lips. There's a little ridge there. Let's put some liner right there. It's just like a little shelf. The lashes are the first thing that's three dimensional and it really makes your new face a tangible reality. It's when those lashes go on that I really am like, oh my goodness, she's a woman. I'm a woman! Here I am blowing seductively on this lash. I buy a regular lash at the store and then I snip it apart until it's the shape that I want it to be. I snip it apart and glue it back together in a different order. Okay, she's done with her face and now I'm just gonna jump into my clothes, I guess. You guys ready for this gag? This is gonna be so much fun. First, this is Albert Einstein. Wig number one, and she's ready. Just a touch of hairspray. For every drag queen, there's like a moment in the makeup process where you start to feel your fantasy. You feel like you're a powerful, beautiful woman who's larger than life, and it's wonderful. Everybody, thank you so much for watching me get in face. If you're at home and you think you wanna try drag, or if you've tried drag and you want to do better, let me tell you something. Don't think too hard. Just get out there and do it. If I can do it, you definitely can.